when you pass a fence and a cat jumps on your shoulders, you just keep walking and talking to the cat. <laughs> it's like a lovely warm scarf. Isn't that right? A lovely warm scarf. Isn't that right, kitty? Yeah, luckily I have thick clothing on so that your claws don't hurt me. <laughs> are you going to jump down or are you going to stay on? Huh? Clever kitty. Anyway, that's what you do when a cat jumps on your shoulder. Just keep going. And he comes for the ride and purrs in your ear. Isn't that right? You beautiful kitty. <laughs> I've put my new flock of sheep in there and about to bring in a fresh bale of hay for the horses before the storm tonight. That one is nearly finished. And what's left in there is gonna go in the sheep one. Uh, and I'm also gonna be putting straw in where the horses are. And I saw this. <laughs> are you finding him? Are you gonna wake him up? Are you gonna get him out? Who is it? Find him, find him, find him. Who is it? Are you gonna wake him up? <laughs> Everybody's going in to wake up up in bed. <laughs> Kitty! How's Kitty? Yeah! Oh, there's another cat. Up in bed, are you gonna come out? You're burying oven mitt. <laughs> oven mitt's like, I am not moving. It is cozy in here. It has been wet outside all night long. <laughs> You've been trying to wake him up. You're trying to wake him up. Look at those two wagging tails. It is too sweet. <laughs> How much is Oven Mitt going to stand before he gets out? <laughs> oh, poor Oven Mitt. Kitty! He's totally ignoring. <laughs> you can see his face. He's like ignoring the puppies. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> oh, poor Oven Mitt. Giddy! <laughs> Java, you're very persistent. Look, Inca's trying a different way to get in. <laughs> and Java's gonna follow. <laughs> trying to get his head. <laughs> what was that? Was something else in there that you got frightened of? Anyway, so everybody can see that Oven Mitt is fine. And he's not pretending to be dead or something like that. I better come in so that you can see. How are you, kitty? Yeah, how are you? You good boy. Yeah. So I'm going to have to be very careful while I'm um, taking the straw. <laughs> oh, you beautiful kitty. You having a lovely time under there keeping away from dogs in the weather. The coziest place for a cat to be. Oh, and he won't come out and play with you. Poor Java. <laughs> so as those of you who know, who've been following me for a while, that you know this is a salvaged gate and that this pier is only a year and a half old. And, the, and this wall here is only about a year, year and a half old an L shape here and it's to hold this fence line up here and this fence line up along there and for this pier for the gate. Now it is very new looking and raw looking. Some of our stones when the guy who was building the wall did it he did a wonderful job of putting the moss side out. So when you're looking at from here 
it looks like it could be older than it is. And we have cobbles in the yard. And in between the cobbles is a lot of moss and this kind of succulent here. Beautiful little succulent. So what I'm slowly starting to do this winter or recently is pull these up from between the cobblestones and look, it even has slime mold in it. Look at that. That's so slimy. But I'm gonna leave that there. It's part of this ecosystem that I'm trying to establish. And it'll make the wall look really, really pretty. But these are fan, oh, somebody's just arrived. I've gotta go find out who that is. But you can see, I'll slowly but surely show you what I'm doing as I fill the top of this wall up and it'll blend in really well. At least I hope it will. They're so beautiful. You're such a purry tree cat, aren't ya? You're such a purry tree cat. Yes. beautiful evening. It's hard to believe this big storm's coming. Hopefully no trees blow down. What? What? A handy knot as a cat stand. All the dogs are eating apples. Okay, the O's are probably done their evening meal. Net right, pup. The hazels are all turning color. They go beautiful yellow. Okay, ladies. Uh, Maya, Maya, no. Java, take it easy. Java, Java. Java's keen on herding. Maya, leave them be. Java just wants to get at the food and the food's all been eaten. Java, good boy. Good boy, come here. Good boy. Come on. He says, but I want the food. Hard choice. You're being good. Yeah. Java, 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 wait. Wait. Ah, ah. Java, Java, Java. Ah, ah. Good boy. Good boy, wait, wait, good boy. Well, uh, 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 uh. Java, wait, wait, Java, no, Java. One, uh, Brindle. I think Java is dead keen about herding. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, enough. Java, leave it. He's standing. I don't think you can see it on the film. He's standing at the gate, wagging his tail, not going any further. <laughs> Maya's just interested in the food or what's left. See, the yos know they're not going to be chased any further. The rule is, once they're through the gate, that's it. 
And Java's learning that. Java, come back. Good boy. There we go. Okay, ladies. See you tomorrow. After the storm, you have hay, water, and shelter. What more do you need? My little green wall topping is slowly growing through the day whenever I'm passing and I collect a little bit more. We'll see what happens. At the moment it kind of looks very obvious at what I'm doing. But every day a little bit more and we'll really see if the rain tonight, if that'll stay on or not. Anyway, evening meals are occurring. So I've got to go and bring the horses in now. Hello, you. You being here on the wall right there prevents Magpie from coming down to have a conversation. Oh, look. Whoop. We've got all the cats. <laughs> well, nearly all the cats. Yeah, no, these are the two brothers. Mustard and Thyme. Magpie's on the wall. You begin gonna become a top kitty on top of the wall. Oh, everybody's going scratchies and having a bath amongst the ferns. Kitty, you mean kitty? Yeah, I know. And the two brothers, bold brothers. Time beats everybody up, except Oven Mitt. Oven Mitt is the only, is the boss cat. Then Time, then Mustard, and poor wee Magpie is at the bottom of the pecking order. Look at her, hiding. She's trying to play, but that's what an underling does. She tries to play with the cat that's above her. Now, 
these two are always having spots because they're both at the bottom rungs of the ladder. Oh, look, I forgot to close the gate. My gate stand or holder opener. Come on. Pop. Good dog. Well, this video is full of cats today. We got everybody, magpie, mustard, thyme, and oven mitt. So that's pretty good. A full complement of cats, farm cats. You can see the growls. <laughs> there we go.